Take two. Two. Don't. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for the plants, it's been raining the past couple days, so I haven't been able to work on my sinew back and rawhide bows. However, it was sunny today. There it is. I'm kind of hiding out here in the shade because we still have customers, visitors. I was able to get this little juniper and sinew back bow with the uh, bent tab tips um, into a form, and I'm taking it easy. You know, I can pull 50 pounds on it, but it's not perfectly finished tillered yet. I'm going to take my time, let it relax a little bit, not over eagerly going into it and then either getting like a goofed up bow or, you know, having it drop below my target weight. Patience is, is the key here. Patience. Don't rush tillering. It's a pretty cool little bow. And I have a rawhide back paddle bow that's ready to be painted. Die pattern put on it and then finished with the helmsman spyurethane. Well, in the period of time, the rainy period of time that we just passed through, couldn't work on sinew back bows, couldn't work on rawhide back bows because neither material really likes to get wet. So I wound up doing a calumet. And didn't have any pipe stone. Talked to a member of the Odawa tribe today. He said he can get me some pipe stone, so that'd be cool. But it's just walnut and walnut. Walnut. Bowl right there, and then a walnut pipe stone. And then brown fur, and then brown rawhide, so it's just brown, brown, brown. I think it's rather beautiful and very functional. The original ones, the granddaddies of um, all these ceremonial pipes probably were flattened. And one reason was there were no um, iron rods, steel rods, torches, you know, to get these things red hot and burn the pith out of certain things. Um, so the original ones were probably made from saplings that were split. Had the, the pith ground out with a sharp rock, um, flakes, and then glued back together and the flatness the evolution of the flat pipe stem comes about when you're joining them, glue joint, and then reducing the mass. You don't want to reduce the surface of the glue joint, but you can reduce the other stuff, and that would result in kind of a flat stem. And with that, oh, why did I make it? Well, as far as medicinal plants, um, teas, infusions, which are teas times 10, let's say. Um, because you use more plant material and you steep it longer. And then there's um, decoctions, which are actually boiled. You put the chopped up roots and the stems, the hard parts too, along with the steeps and the, the leaves and the flowers, and then boil it to get the um, compoundy goodness out of them. And then tinctures, of course, but there's also smoking. And then smoke peppermint, you know, to like clear your sinuses. Uh, wild lettuce for pain. Mullen for respiratory issues, along with other things. Mullen is an amazing plant, power plant. But I was just kind of showing off that juniper bow. And the Calumet, it's been a crafty couple of days. Appreciate your viewership. I hope that your workshop floor is covered with uh, wood shavings. That's my catchphrase. That's my catchphrase. Um, have a great evening. I appreciate you watching. It's kind of pretty. Pretty wooden things. Gotta like pretty wooden things. There we go.